over in Venezuela this morning. There are recent presidential elections causing a lot of chaos there. It sure is. Demonstrations have been taking place all across the globe amid the controversy. One of them is scheduled for this afternoon right here in Music City. Jaxie Pigeon explains for us this morning. Well, Ali and Blake, Venezuelan authorities' announcement of authoritarian President Nicolas Maduro as the winner of their presidential election has led to thousands gathering at the country's capital to rally in support of opposition candidate Edmundo Gonzalez, who they believe is the true victor. The Venezuelan community in Nashville says they are wanting to help be a part of that change as well. Since the election on July 28th, the government has not released any voting tallies to prove Maduro won, and that lack of transparency is what is concerning many. Opposition leaders say from the tally sheets they've gotten from polling centers nationwide, Maduro was not chosen for a third six-year term. The Associated Press also analyzed those same tally sheets and found that Gonzalez won significantly more votes in the election than the government claimed. The Biden administration also spoke out on the results of the election. In a recent statement, Secretary of State Antony Blinken says there's overwhelming evidence that Gonzalez was the victor. Members of Nashville's Venezuelan community concur. They are holding a demonstration today at noon where they plan to pray and march together at the downtown pedestrian bridge. Not only is, are the, uh, the people of Venezuela tired of a dictatorship, tired of not having rights, tired of not having food, tired of not having a lot of things. But, uh, you know, for us, you know, we feel like this is the end of that dictatorship. And we feel that we need to help push the, those results. We need to help, you know, support and regardless of your background, Norcisa says anyone is welcome to join them in their protest downtown today at noon. Allie.